when it was like which of these guys, Genus, or mm. who's going to be the sort of England star, and then injuries and various bits and pieces just get in the way of that progress and you uh, sit now and reflect on it and yeah, you know, 21 uh, England caps rather than 121 yeah, yeah, yeah. England caps. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I'm, not, I'm not bitter about it. Uh, I, you know, I do live with some regrets. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't achieve what I set out to achieve in the game, um, which, you know, never sits well with you as a, as, a, as a professional, I suppose. There were issues I had to deal with with regards to, you know, injuries and so on. I also ran into probably one of the most elite um, midfield generations of probably you know, one of you know, if English history yeah, really yeah. when it comes to you know the, who I was competing with uh, also but a lot of that you know I stare kind of in the mirror and I look at myself and I, you know it's, it's things I have to take on about what I didn't bring to the table um, there are other attributes you know kind of when I look at say Lamps when he started to kind of really kick on I remember a game in South Africa, I don't know if you played in that one, in, in Lucas Redeby's uh, testimonial. And I'd kind of just come through as like the 19 year old and, um, you know, Sven really liked me and it was, and Lamps had kind of got himself back into the equation and we, we were battling it out at this mm. point. But, you know, Lamps had, um, he had Jose Mourinho at the helm, was pushing for Champions League and, and, you know, and I was at Newcastle where Bobby had just left and it was going the other way. and but. What it always boils down to, Jake, is yourself, you know, mm. as a player. And, you know, there were moments during my career where I obviously just didn't do enough um, to kind of get oh, wh to the Why is of that? Is it the people that are around you or was it...? I think it definitely helps if you're playing in a Champions yeah, League yeah, side, definitely. though, and, you, and you're shining on a midweek under the lights, like Frank, if he's playing for Chelsea v Barcelona and he nicks a goal, he's bound to have an advantage when it comes down to England selection yeah. over Jermaine if he's playing at Newcastle, with all due respect. So... Yeah. I think sometimes it depends on what players are around you, what club you're at and, and what stage you're performing at. Really. I, I felt that a lot kind of when I was with England. When I was in England, you, you could feel kind of the winners, I suppose, in the dressing room. We, didn't, we never performed really well as a team, I, I, I never found. Um, it was, there were too many individuals, really, and not enough kind of, a, of us together. But you're, I always kind of felt like when I came back from England, my levels kind of went up, you know, and then I could almost feel them dwindle as kind of the weeks went mm -hmm. on. So, like, training with England was at such an intense mm. level and everyone wants to win, everyone wants to be in the team. And I'd come back to Newcastle and I'd be up here, miles ahead of everybody. And then literally, because the demand wasn't as high at Newcastle as it was with England, my standards just dropped and dropped and dropped mm. gradually throughout the weeks to the point where you kind of bring yourself down back to Newcastle level, whereas Steve would be like Liverpool, yeah. Frank would be like Chelsea, Rio United, you know, and, and that's just how it... It, that's, they, they were winners and they won things. Whereas I suppose that's the difference in the league. Mm. It's as simple as that. You know, some people accept uh, kind of their space of where they're in. And whoever's in that dressing room, it's up to them, I suppose, to kind of drag everyone together and make sure you, you, you do go and achieve more. Um, but I think it's hard at that level as well. If you're, not, if you're not being successful or you're in a team that is an, you know, an average performing team, it's hard to shine and drag them forward all the time. Mm. So if you're playing with England and you're training with them, and, you know, when you have the ball, Stephen's bombing on or the right-back's bombing on, and then suddenly you go back to Newcastle and you're expecting that right-back to be there and the right-back is not feeling confident today and is, is staying there. Sure, sure. And you're doing that side pass. You know, you want to be creative. You want people to do that, to give you the options. But if you're in a team that is, you know, is not firing or not flying every week, you're bound to have players who go, well, oh, I'm staying here today, yeah. do you mean? And you're just passing there and then you're the one who has to go and do things. So it, it, it's definitely... The players around you can certainly lift you to another level and on the flip side can probably drag you back a lot. But do you look at it and think, well, it was the midfield generation and I wasn't at a club that was pushing for the Champions League and I had a one day Ramos rather than Sir Alex Ferguson or Rafa Benitez as my manager? Or do you look at it and just think, I just wish someone had told me this career is over like that and just to knuckle down because who knows what, what I could have I done. I don't blame anybody no. you know, for what happened. I look at myself and um, like I said, I've always been um, accepting of the way uh, that it went to an extent. There are, you know, I, I do live with regrets because I didn't, again, like I said, set out, uh, achieve what I wanted to achieve uh, in the game. Yeah. But, you know, you can, you can talk about as many people as you want, Jake. You know, when I really kind of like do break it down, yes, you kind of say things like, I don't know, if, maybe if I was here at Liverpool with Rafa Benitez, you know, because Steve has mentioned, you know, some of the teams here that he played in, you know, they, they weren't amazing teams, yeah. but they're at Liverpool Football Club, a winning club. They had a manager that kind of knew how to win. And then you kick, him, kick on from that. 
I probably didn't have that, but the bottom line of everything when it comes to being a football player is you look at yourself and somewhere along the line, I didn't do enough.